Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by one of the sickos in Piss Rock. And this is not Piss Rock. This is one of their side projects. Misty Keep. Where we have some absolutely killer, top shelf, lo-fi, dungeon synth, electronic, ambient goodness. It was one of the reasons why I was so curious as to Piss Rock's age. Because this sounds like it was written by someone like my age. That, you know, just has been into this, like, you know, style of music for a very long time. And finally decided, like, alright, I'm going to try and make my own form of one of my favorite, you know, subgenres of music. And that's, like, ambient, electronic, dungeon synth. And... For a group of teenagers to just, well, actually, I'm guessing this is just a single member of Piss, Piss Rot. I'm looking for the tape real quick. Here it is. So, like, you're going from, you know, something as gnarly as Piss Vile Gunk to something as chill as Solitude by Misty Keep, and it's just fucking fantastic. Released by Fantasy Audio Magazine, like, all music written and recorded by Misty Keep. I made a dub of this for a friend. You're gonna be getting a package soon. You know who you are. And Wandering alone in the halls of my empty castle opens up this bad boy that goes into stargazing in the courtyard and ends with the title track, Solitude. It's very pretty sounding, yet cold, and I, I like that. And I know that's weird, like, sounding, because it feels inviting. Yet, at the same time, it has a very, very, like, icy and, like, cold vibe to it. And, like, I... It's just... That's hard to explain, but... It kind of reminds me of, like, a video game level that's split into two sections where, like... Think Super Ghouls and Ghosts, for a great example. Like, just kind of how the level, like, at the midway point kind of changes vibes... Like, this kind of at times feels very inviting, and then other times it's very, like, for lack of a better word, like, dreadful sounding, and not in a bad way. Like, I mean, like, something bad's gonna happen. Like, just that kind of vibe, like, hovering over your mind, if you get what I mean. Like, I want more from Misty Keep. Like, this is so good it's like just what i want when it comes to you know a dungeon synth demo ep i'm not sure what they consider this but like it's it's pretty quick like the songs don't overstay their welcome so like if you're new to like ambient music and you're worried about like a 24 minute track or something like that like, not knowing if, like, oh, am I going to buy this and, like, 15 minutes of it are going to be, you know, like, noise, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm drawing a blank on the term, um, I have no problem with these, by the way, but field recordings, like, when you just go out in nature and record the fucking sounds you hear, Sometimes bands will like legit like use that for like five minutes of a song and then go into it, go into like the main track. Mismore does that a lot on their like mini LPs. And sometimes it's enough for me to kind of be like, alright, like I'm spending 
like, I don't know. I was thinking of it very kind of idiotically. Like, all right, I'm spending at least $8 for the seven minutes of, like, cricket noises. And then another, like, $8 on the six minutes of blackened doom goodness that I expected. But it is what it is. But... Whoever is behind Misty Keep, I'm gonna just give you a real quick props because if these are the only two releases you have right now, you got so lucky cosmetically because the cosmetics, you folks know I'm a nerd about this shit. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice pro tape, matching the artwork. Like, again, to me, that shit is so important. I know it might not be for everyone, but for me, it's important. But hey, whoever's behind this, like, both of your releases at the moment are awesome cosmetically and sonically but one of these three teenagers I'm guessing yeah yeah they they said they were in like junior high so one of these three is behind this piece of gorgeous experimental fucking dungeon synth electronic whatever you want to throw this under that's the thing. I'm I'm weird like that. Like certain stuff is obviously dungeon synth. Certain stuff is kind of just like, you know, chip tune. Some shit's ambient, but like, you know, Misty Keep. I, I again, I am very impressed with how mature this sounds and stuff. Like it just, I honestly like wouldn't believe it if it wasn't true that this was written by someone in junior high school. Like, seriously. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, go back to the second wave of Scandinavian black metal. They were a bunch of young, skinny, angry fucking kids. But this is something entirely different. Like, this really caught me off guard when they were like, hey, uh, check out our, uh, well, the, whoever was running their Instagram hit me up and was like, hey, like, I have a dungeon synth project, like, check it out. And he sent me a link, and I was like, yo, like, this is fucking good. And he was like, you want a copy? And yeah, that means I get to go over it with you folks. So whoever sent me this from Pissrot, thank you. Because, like, I mean, not only does Frog Mist want to work with Misty Keep, like, but, like, again, I want to hear more. I, like, this is a really awesome, to me, teaser. And I know you can call it an EP, call it a demo, but this is a teaser to me, because I want more, like, if this was six six tracks, oh my god, like, you would have one of my favorite, like, dungeon synth releases. But this is very, it reminds me of, like, Casket of Dreams. A, just a tiny bit, like, not just cosmetically, but, like, just, it kind of has that sound, but also... It's fucking amazing and definitely something to check out if you're a fan of Dungeon Synth and even if you aren't. Like, for real, this is such a good way to get into the genre here. Like, it's a modern release from a modern band. Like, Killer Tennessee Dungeon Synth. Like, that's fucking, to me, that's just awesome. Like, and again, just the fact that, like, 
you know, like I said, the whole junior high thing and having something this mature come out of, like, that's talent. And, I mean, I know it's, it's like, dungeon, like, lo-fi, very, very straightforward, no thrills, like, it's just meant to be what it is, but, like, that's the thing, like, I would expect, legitimately, most teenagers to kind of go a little bit overboard, but no, this is minimalistic as fuck in the best ways possible because when it comes to dungeon synth you can go two ways you can go the minimal lo-fi raw way or you can go the like you know kind of over the top ridiculous like have violins and like and like that's just cool like you know if you can like make like See, like, that's more, like, warm-sounding Grandma's Cottage-esque dungeon synth, Hole Dweller. Like, I love that shit, but, like, it's a lot different than Misty Keep. Misty Keep is a lot more along the lines of, like, Fiendish Imp. Like, it's very, like, lo-fi, spooky. I mean, it's Halloween time, like, you know? Bum, 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 bum. Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. We're gonna watch this on a live stream someday soon. I don't know if I'll get a copyright strike because of YouTube is so stupid, but this is the VHS. If you don't know what I'm singing, gather around your TV set, put on your mask and watch. No Michael Myers here, aside from a fourth wall breaking cameo. But the original, there's the shape back there behind Jamie Lee. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, Blockbuster Presents. The Blockbuster Presents series was pretty sick because these were really cheap. Like, these were like $3.99, if I remember correctly. Like, they were, you know, cheaper than renting the movie, pretty much. But I got this at Coconuts Music, and I... Mm, I was an idiot. Cut that out and had it on my binder in high school. Yeah, I don't know why I did. I, I used to do dumb shit like that. And like, you go, I could always get another one. No, <laughs> I mean, I, I I could, but I'm not. I'm happy with my VHS of Halloween 3. I want the now that's a soundtrack. I've legit, like, when it comes to electronic music, my favorite film score ever. Like, that, that's up there with, like, you know, some Anicio Morricone, like, soundtracks, you know? Like, it's that fucking good. Like, that's my favorite, like, John Carpenter ori original soundtrack. And I know that's a lot of people are going to say, oh, Assault on Precinct. But, like, but Halloween 3, I'm sorry, Season of the Witch has the best soundtrack. And, hey, I fucking love drunk tom atkins plays the best drunk because i'm pretty sure he is drunk in the when he's filming but like he's always like in creep show like I, I love him his like little his part in creep show as like the dad i think it's creep show one it might be the second one because i i know it, like the son gets like a voodoo doll but I'm, i'll shut up about horror horror, horror films Sergeant Stutter over here, but um, seriously, I'm really blown away by not only how randomly this fell into my lap, but how good it is, and the fact that it came from such a gross, 
crushing modern death metal band just boggles my mind. Again, especially considering just the youth factor. Like, nailing Dungeon Synth to where somebody that listens to it a lot is like, whoa, this is something, you know, like, I sent this to a few friends of mine, like, that are really deep into the genre, even they were like, whoa, I never heard this before. And I was like, yeah, like, this fuck, like, I didn't tell them what band, you know, I didn't tell them that Misty Keep has a connection to Piss Rot, but they said it was cool to air that information, so, yeah, like, that's, goes to show you folks, like I always say, try to have an open mind musically. Because Dungeon Synth might not be your cup of tea, but it's fucking a legit, no pun intended, magical type of music when you listen to the right bands. And Misty Keep, yeah, like this just absolutely nails every single check in my book. When it comes to this subgenre, and it's done in an extremely well and mature fashion. Like, nothing's overdone, nothing's like, it's really on the fucking money. And it was one of those things, like, it made me quite, like, I, I hit the band up and was like, hey, like, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, how old are you guys? Cause, like, I, I, thought that promo photo in the Piss Rot tape and CD, like, I thought that shit was, like, just an old photo, like, showing that, oh, yeah, like, we, we've been friends for a long time, but, like, I'm just blown away, and, you know, like, the maturity is legit, like, I mean, it's, Secret Stairways is a little bit more, like, there's more going on, like, it's not as minimal as Misty Keep, and again, like, it all depends on your taste in music, because, like, to me, I, it just depends on my mood, like, sometimes I want, I, I want something that's just kind of, you know, straight to the point, like, you know, there's not too much going on, and that's another great thing about Secret Stairways, like, they don't really step over that line and stuff, like, to where there's too much going on, and it sounds like you're watching Lord of the Rings. That's when it gets, like, all right, like, if you're using, like, bar tavern, you know, like, trying to pretend you're at, like, a mystical fantasy tavern, and sometimes that will work. If you do it correctly, then, yeah, it will work, but if you try too hard to go with that fantasy element, it's going to end up just sounding not organic. It's going to sound forced. It's, But, like, that's the thing about Solitude by Misty Keep. Like, I, I, I'm really at, like, a loss of words over these past 18 plus minutes because this is so good. And I know it's only three tracks. I know it's, you know, not even 20 minutes worth of music. But this is something that I feel a lot of you, especially if you're interested in getting into and checking out, like, more experimental music and dungeon synth and enjoy, like, those videos and stuff that I've done kind of recently, like, going over bands like Bloodlord and, like, Fiendish Imp, Secret Stairways, like, more, like, stuff like that. Like, it would be easy to go over, like, a, you know, collaboration, like, that The Body did. Like, I love their collab with Full of Hell. Like, The Body, to me, like, they really shine when it comes to collaboration. But I also really like them on their own. But I'm a big Swans fan. Like, 
I like ex experimental music, and this just really caught me off guard. Misty Keep from Tennessee with Solitude. Three tracks of grade A dungeon synth. Lo-fi, very raw, straightforward. I love the production on this. On Fantasy Audio Magazine. So I don't know if any copy of any copies of this exist, but I'll do my best here, folks. Links will be in the video description as always. Thank you to Pissrot for sending this over. Or should I say thank you to the Misty Keep? Heavy fucking hails. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails again. Bye.